This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So when Krishan did her interview with Jason Lee, which is breaking all kinds of records right now, she said that she threw a phone at Koi LeRae's face. We made it, baby. I can't believe you were... Koi LeRae is an ex-boo of Blueface. I want you guys to listen to this. Koi LeRae. Who is it? She was upset that I interviewed you guys. I don't know. She, I guess, you know, she, I don't know. You guys had a history before, right? Yeah, because I'm genuine. I thought she wanted to do a collab with some music and really she was just trying to out me out the plan and bag my nigga's abortion. Mm. And I'm like, you, you can have y'all. I just want the verse. That's <laughs> how song. You, the fuck? You wanted the verse, but she could have had the blue. She couldn't have blue. Who did it want her? Yeah. <laughs> did you ever get the verse? Nigga, it's still at the WAC 100 studio. Oh, so you got the verse? Yeah, we recorded something, but we never finished it. It just, we fell out because she wanted what she wanted. She mm. had a hidden agenda when she went out. Mm. It's no bad blood. Like, when, you... I, when, when I seen her, I was with Glorilla. Um, Glorilla was telling her security, hey, everybody come out there. I'm with Krishan. Because everybody know we don't really fuck with each other. I'm pregnant. But... It is what it is. It'll go down. It's gonna have to go down. So she said, "Fuck the security, bung guard the security." She and everybody face like, "Hi, everybody, what's up, girl?" She knew we're not cool. She knew I'm pregnant. She was standing. You can ask anybody that was right there. Nigga, I took my phone. I get, I'll buy a new one. I threw that bitch in her face. What are you doing? Cool, right? Yeah, that's what I got. Put that shit on my phone. You can ask anybody that was right there. Nigga, I took my phone. I get, I'll buy a new one. I threw that bitch in her face. What are you doing? Cool, right? Yeah, that's what I got. Put that shit on my phone. Recently, right, like right before you had a baby. Remember when um I was pregnant and I was shaking my ass when when, when Glow brought me out. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was around that time we went to another show in New York or something. I'm not sure what state it was. I think it was New York. After that show, we went. I went to New York with Glow, and then uh, she was trying to come up on the sprinter. No, damn, well, I'm on the sprinter, but I'm pregnant, so she like she just wants to sit in my face and smile. I don't know what it was. But I didn't give a fuck what it was. I looked at her. Oh, she, she like, okay, y'all look pretty. And then she's like, why she saying glow? Hey, she looking at me, smiling, popping gum. Hey. And my brother Josh right there. I swear to God. And he looking at me. I'm looking at him, and I look at her. Like I'm just doing this. Like okay, you feel me? Like how long is the stirring contest gonna happen? Cause you want me to hit you pregnant? How you wanna? Cause the last time I said what I said, when I see this, oh, I'm gonna beat the shot of me. So I couldn't do that when I seen her. Like my phone, that's all I could do. Wait, so where are you guys? You guys are cool now, though. Who? You don't cool away. You know what I'm just saying? It's no bad blood. Uh. Like I said, it's always a common denominator, but it's the reaction of the bitch. Like, why did you could have had that nigga? Mm. I got mad when you trying to out me and they want to put us on them. Mm. You just had a hidden agenda. Mm. Well, hopefully, you all piece it up. I mean, yeah, well, let's hopefully get to a better place. What? All right, no, this in the past, she getting caught from this. Look. I talk about her. Okay, this person. Now, now you talk about her because uh, you named her. Well, I know you. you did. I did it. Okay, then she. The show did it. Yeah, you just you just put her back on. The producer you did just it. Made her a trainer. We made it, baby. I can't believe you were. Well, Koi has addressed the claims on Twitter, and she said, "Don't believe the cap." clickbait be so corny but whatever helps push the brand do what you gotta do blank get old and tired after a while i'm 26 the drama is just so blank corny to me at this point stay blessed now i really like both koi and krishan but i really want to know from you guys who is telling the truth who do you guys think is telling the truth koi or Krishan. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.